Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So we just got done using the, the TYM tractor with the grapple on it and we've moved all the, the limbs that I pruned from the orchard. That's quite a few limbs. And we've, we've brought that over here and we've made a new brush pile. This is gonna be where we're gonna pile all, our, all the brush for the next year. And I picked this location because it's close to a few other trees and stuff that we're probably gonna cut down. So it, it'll be close to some other tree work that we're gonna end up doing later. So what we're going to do next is we're going to head over to where the old brush pile was. We burnt that about a month, month and a half ago. And there's this huge tree trunk that we tried to burn. It's probably four foot in diameter. And um, it burnt about halfway. So there's still a pretty good piece left. We're going to bring that tree trunk back. We're going to pile it on top of here. And there may be a few other limbs that didn't burn up. And we're going to try to transfer what we can over to this brush pile. So this here, this is our old brush pile. And um, we're going to get this all cleaned up because we're going to end up putting steers in here. So this is going to get cleaned up and most of this is going to be put in a dumpster. But I'm going to try to haul out this stump that we tried to burn. And then there's a few limbs over here I want to try to haul out to the new brush pile. So I'm going to roll the magnet around here, try to pick up any pieces of metal that we might have here. I want to make sure I don't get anything in my tractor tire. All right, got quite a few pieces of metal on here. Better than getting these in a tractor tire. Most of this is washers actually, from when they tore the grain bin down. They left all the nuts and washers laying around. Well, I think that's everything. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this trunk picked up. So we got what was left of the old brush pile brought over. So why did I end up picking this spot for our new brush pile? Well, I got, I got two reasons. The first one is I'm gonna end up doing some dirt work here eventually, and we're going to regrade this up to the pole barn. So this, this burn pile actually all get cleaned up when we do that dirt work. So it's a good spot to do it, knowing that it's all gonna get covered up with dirt later. So the second reason we picked this spot is because it's near trees that we're gonna cut down. So all these trees right there, those are, there's uh, all of them, but two are like honey locust trees with the big thorns on them. And we're gonna end up taking those trees out because I wanna be able to drive the tractor back around here without fear of popping a tire. And then this brushy tree right here, I think I've actually cut that tree down once before. So when we bought this property, this was all horse pasture and there was a barbed wire fence that came around this pasture area. And that tree was growing through that barbed wire fence and I cut it down when we cleared the fence back in like 2016. So uh, today we're gonna make sure that that tree, we're gonna go ahead and cut that tree down today and we're gonna go ahead and kill the stump and make sure it doesn't come back. 
So around the outside of this tree, this is all briars. These are all thorn bushes that have grown through. In fact, there's thorns right here. The briars have grown up through this tree. So if you try to handle any of this, you're gonna end up handling a bunch of thorns. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the pole saw. We're gonna try to just cut this up with the pole saw as best we can, and then pick it up with the grapple and put it on top of the brush pile. And hopefully we don't get poked with any thorns and hopefully we don't really have to handle anything. All right, I got a fresh battery. And remember, this is only an eight inch chainsaw. I'm not for sure if it'll be able to cut all the way through the trunk, but we'll see how much we can actually do with this. <laughs> There's so many thorns going through this that everything's still stuck together. I've cut off about four decent branches. <laughs> so I've got all the top limbs cleared off. And then I reached inside and I tried to cut as many of the briars as I can. I think I got most of them. So I'm gonna grab the grapple. We're gonna try to pull all the limbs off of it so that we can get access to the trunk. see how big this thing can cut. Hey, I got it. That, that's pretty much that, exactly the max right there. It did it. Well, I guess there's no chance that uh, that tree's gonna grow back a third time. Now my original plan, I, I thought I'd just go get a chainsaw. I'd cut it as close to the ground as I could and then spray some stump killer on it. But since I had the, the grapple on the tractor, I thought I'd see if, what I could do with the root rake and see if I could pop that stump out of the ground. And that was too big. That was too big for the grapple, but I was able to work my way around it and just keep on working at breaking the roots all the way around it. And then finally got it up out of the ground. Now. Uh, after I got it up out of the ground, I went to grab the stump and I, I, the tractor actually went down in the hole that the stump was in. And I got the tractor in there and the, it was stuck. It didn't want to really move. So I, I had to end up putting the differential lock on and then doing where you curl the bucket, where you, where you push down with the bucket and then you curl it as you go backwards. And I had to do that a few times just like work my way out of this hole. So this is pretty, this is very soft. I tried filling it in a little bit, scraping some of the dirt in there, but that is very soft right now where that, that stump was. So um, later on, I'll probably come back when this firms up a little bit and maybe we'll run the land leveler over it and drag dirt back and forth on it and pack it down and hopefully get it where it's, uh, where everything's all nice and firm and we don't have any soft spots. Well, I think that wraps up everything we wanted to do today. We've got our new brush pile established. That's gonna get 
bigger and bigger over the next year as we add more and more stuff to it. Um, and I was able to, to play around on the tractor a little bit today. Um, everything was more like play than it was work today. So um, I didn't have to manhandle anything, right? I, I was able to cut that up with a pole saw um, and then able to pick it all up and, and move it with the, the grapple on the tractor. So when you got a day like that, um, it's really, it's a lot more like playing around than it is work. So that, uh, that makes it a pretty good day. But uh, I, think, I think that's gonna be it for this portion of the video. So now um, we'll go ahead and we're gonna jump forward to April 19th, where we're gonna end up picking the winners for the garden planner. All right, it's April 19th and I just got done picking the winners of the Clyde's Garden Planner. So on Facebook, we got two winners. One is Randy Martin, and the other one is Ruth Moore. Now, I did comment back to your comments, and I sent both of you a private message as well um, on Instant Messenger. So on YouTube, we got three winners. We have Dennis Arents, we have Craig Nodden, and then we also have Jeff Curtis. And that's our three winners on YouTube. Now I did send, I did reply to each one of your comments as well to let you know that you guys won. And um, you just need to send me you guys' mailing address and we'll get all of those sent out to all of you. So uh, you can send me a message on, on Facebook or you can just email me at countryviewacreshomestead at gmail.com and get me your mailing address and we'll get those Clyde's Garden Planners out to you. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.